This is Shuttle Launch Control. At T minus three hours in holding, the countdown for Space Shuttle Endeavour's STS-126 mission to the International Space Station is underway and on schedule. Launch is scheduled for 7.55 p.m. Eastern Time from Launch Pad 39A at NASA's Kennedy Space Center here in Florida. The launch window is about five minutes. Managers and engineers in Fire Room Floor 4 at Launch Control Center are monitoring the countdown. There are currently no issues that are being worked that would delay launch. Countdown began this morning um, with the tanking, which was on time at 10.30 a.m. and was completed at 1.30 p.m. We're now in stable replenish. The external fuel tank was loaded with more than 500,000 gallons of super cold liquid oxygen and hydrogen, which is used by the shuttle's three main engines at liftoff. This is shuttle launch control at T minus three hours in holding. We have approximately 35 minutes left in this uh, built-in hold. As you can see, the FIT team members are continuing their evaluation of the launch pad and space shuttle Endeavour. Make sure that it's safe before launch. Each member of the team is required to wear a highly visible orange protective coverall. They're anti-static and flame resistant. They're also supplies with emergency breathing units in case of an emergency. As you heard before, the team is evaluating the tank and looking for any frost or ice buildup, which could become hazardous to the vehicle once Endeavour lifts off. It takes about two hours to perform the inspections. They begin on the 255-foot level and continue all the way down the fixed service structure to the 215, then 195, and then 135-foot levels and the mobile launcher platform. There are no serious technical issues or problems being worked at this time, and we anticipate an on-time liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavour at 7.55 p.m. Eastern Time here from Kennedy Space Center. The final inspection team is doing its last walk around on the mobile launcher platform to conclude their inspection. There have been no reported sightings of any kind of ice. We're still waiting for a look at the astronauts in their operations and checkout building putting on their launch and entry suits. We're at T minus three hours and holding. A little more than 27 minutes left in the hold time and we are not working any issues that would delay launch. Commander Chris Ferguson is putting on his launch and entry suit. Commander Ferguson is a U.S. Navy captain who was born in Philadelphia. Pilot Eric Bowe, a U.S. Air Force colonel. This is his first space flight. He's logged over 4,000 hours in 45 different aircraft. Pilot Bowe giving a little wave. Mission Specialist Donald Pettit. He's the Mission Specialist 1. This is his second space flight. He was an Expedition 6 science officer. He spent over 161 days in space. Sandy Magnus. Sandy's a veteran of space flight STS-112. She's going to stay on board as the Expedition 18 flight engineer and a science officer. Mission, mission Specialist Heidi Marie Stephanition Piper. Heidi Piper is a veteran of one space flight. She was on STS-115. She's the lead STS-126 spacewalker. She'll conduct three spacewalks. Mission Specialist 4, Army Lieutenant Colonel Shane Kimbrough, served in Operation Desert Storm. 
This is his first spacewalk, or first space flight, and he will conduct two spacewalks. Mission Specialist Steve Bowen, he's Mission Specialist 2, a U.S. Navy captain. This is his first space flight, putting on his launch and entry suit. He will conduct three spacewalks. The SCS 126 crew, well. Yeah, so it's past. The SCS, right, it should be coming right behind us here in a few minutes. I think I'll make one more stop here. Mm -hmm. And they're make this stop, they're stopping outside the launch control center. And they're letting off, if I'm not mistaken, the uh, flight surgeons, as a matter of fact? Uh, and I believe also they'll let off our um, director of flight crew operations, Brent Jett, as well as our uh, vehicle integration test office, Chief Jerry Ross. Shane, and uh, I think it looks like we've got um, Eric maybe off the top of our screen. You're doing it. Your, your field of vision in the... Uh Operation television cameras are much better than mine. I, I saw astronauts. That's, and that is the walkway that we were talking about. Close our crew member going across it first and getting ready. They have several members of the close our crew already uh, waiting for the astronauts inside the, the white room. All right, so you'll typically go one, uh, this is the white room we were talking about. It can fit up to. Uh, about six people, but uh, they typically don't put that many people in there at a time. One astronaut and two tops before, and, and right, we'll see that in a minute. I think it's a max of six people can be in there at a time. It's it's not a big room, really. It, it, <laughs> yeah, no. Especially, I would imagine, be even worse if you've got your, uh, you know, the, the launch and entry suits, the yeah. big orange pumpkin suits that we affectionately call them. It's, uh, it's not a lot of room to maneuver, really. <laughs> right. So here, uh, number four, we have Tim Seymour. And he'll be helping. He's one of our hatch technicians. And then uh, number six is Kevin Hurd, and he's with NASA Safety. All right, well, we're starting to see the inside of the vehicle. You can see the commander's seat in the foreground. In the background, that's the pilot's seat. And so. Drew Billingsley is uh, our number three here. He's one of the suit techs working on the flight deck. Well, for anyone that's ever been to the simulators in Florida, um, what you're seeing right now on, on your screen in a horizontal position is at the top is um, actually where we make some of our food and rehydrate it. So that's your mid-deck area where that's the, our the, the, right the, now. Uh, uh -huh. the uh, All those. sad to say, the most spacious part of the shuttle. It's, uh, it's and that's not that big in and of itself either, especially with the uh, seats in there, which of course you take down after mm -hmm. once you get into orbit. But yeah. that's part of it. And we're actually going to have a member of the uh, a former member of the close our crew join us uh, um, after the uh, Endeavour's crew is safely inside, and he'll walk us through. And, and it's that orientation of getting everything. Uh, you know, you've got it when you're in this launch position, and traditionally you get the commander's first one in, and there's Chris Ferguson.